Welcome to Bluecoat's computer-based training. This first steps video tutorial describes how to deploy the Proxy SG in transparent proxy mode. With the transparent proxy deployment, you can configure your Proxy SG appliance to control and filter traffic for users without having to do any configuration on the client workstations. Two methods can be used to send traffic to your Proxy SG appliance transparently: physically in path and virtually in path. After you have selected one of these methods, the next steps are to configure the Proxy SG appliance to intercept traffic, configure the default proxy policy, and to test transparent access. An in-path transparent deployment allows the Proxy SG appliance to handle all traffic flowing from your user network to the internet. All traffic flows through the appliance, but only interesting traffic is processed and subjected to policy. This deployment method places the Proxy SG appliance in the physical network path between users and the internet egress point using two bridged interfaces on the appliance. These interfaces handle traffic without redirection. For initial configuration instructions, refer to the quick start guide that comes with the Proxy SG. For a physically in path deployment, connect your Proxy SG appliance in line between your user network and your firewall using a pair of bridged interfaces. Connect the LAN interface to a switch on your internet network and the WAN interface to the router on your outbound network. The Proxy SG will now receive all traffic directly. Next, let's look at a virtually in-path deployment. A virtually in-path deployment uses Web Cache Control Protocol, or WCCP, which relies on Cisco and Cisco compatible routers, firewalls, or switches to redirect intercepted traffic to the Proxy SG. WCCP provides options for balancing load among several Proxy SG appliances and is fault tolerant, sending traffic to the Internet directly should the Proxy SG appliance be unable to handle requests. The Proxy SG appliance supports WCCP versions 1 and 2. WCCP version 2 allows traffic for any TCP port to be directed to the proxy while WCCP version 1 supports only port 80 HTTP redirection. Here is an example of the connections used in a virtually in-path deployment. Next, we'll look at a simple deployment consisting of one WCCP device and a single Proxy SG appliance. The simplified steps here will prepare your Cisco device for WCCP redirection. This sample configuration involves creating a redirect list and an access control list to direct all internet bound traffic to the Proxy SG. First, log on to your switch or router's command line interface using SSH or Telnet as appropriate. Identify the router interface that will be used to transmit data to and from the Proxy SG appliance. This example uses interface E0. Now enter the commands shown to configure WCCP and create an associated ACL. Next, we need to configure the Proxy SG to accept the traffic being sent to it by WCCP. In the Management Console, select Configuration Network WCCP, select Enable WCCP, and select New. Enter the service group you defined as an access list in the router configuration. Select an interface from the drop-down menu. Select or define the TCP ports you want the Proxy SG appliance to intercept and manage. Select individual home router addresses and click Add. Enter the IP address for the router that will perform WCCP redirection. Click OK and Apply to save the configuration. Now when users request internet resources, those requests will be sent to the Proxy SG appliance. To control that traffic, you need to define the ports to intercept, which we'll do next. After configuring how your Proxy SG appliance receives user traffic, either physically in path or by using WCCP redirection, you need to configure proxy services. Without the appropriate services set to intercept, that traffic will pass through the proxy without being subjected to policy. The most common ports to intercept are as shown. 
To configure the proxy SG to intercept traffic, in the Management Console, select Configuration, Services, Proxy Services. Under Predefined Service Groups, expand the Standard Group. Locate the service you want to set to intercept. From the drop-down menu next to the service, select Intercept. In this example, the HTTPS service is set to intercept. Repeat these steps for each additional service you want to intercept, and click Apply. Now that traffic is being directed to and intercepted by the appliance, it's time to consider how client requests will interact with policy. The first step is to set the default policy action. This controls traffic that does not match any rules in your policy. In the Management Console, browse to Configuration, Policy, Policy Options. Set the default proxy policy to Allow and click Apply. To identify the sites and URL categories your users are permitted or denied access through the proxy, you need to create policy rules in the Visual Policy Manager, or VPM. Select Policy, Visual Policy Manager, Launch. In the Visual Policy Manager, select Policy, Add Web Access Layer. Right-click the Destination column and select Set, New, Request URL. Enter a URL to use for testing, such as bluecoat.com. Click Add, Close, and OK. Note the action in this rule. By default, it is Deny. Click Install Policy to commit this rule to your configuration. Now, from a workstation in the network, browse to google.com. Access is granted. From the same workstation, browse to bluecoat.com. Access is denied because of the deny rule for the bluecoat.com destination created in the VPM. This shows that the transparent proxy configuration is working properly. Visit the Bluecoat Proxy SG First Steps web guide available at Blue Touch Online to learn more about the most effective ways of deploying and using a proxy SG appliance to secure your network. For comments or suggestions about this video tutorial, contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.